So IWM has refreshed its permanent display about uh, what happened in the Falkland Islands in 1982. Uh, we've also refreshed our display at our branch in Manchester, so we have overhauled everything. And there are some uh, familiar objects, such as the Exocet missile above us, which is of the type that struck um, HMS Glamorgan. But there is also a lot of new content, which includes photographs by Paul Haley, who was one of the three civilian press photographers who covered the uh, conflict in the Falklands in 1982. His photographs have been part of our permanent collection since that time, but this is the first time we've been able to uh, display them and tell a little bit of his story from his perspective. I, I went to Goose Green first, or well, Darwin, and stayed with the Hart Castles in, in Darwin for a couple of nights. Uh, on the floor of their library, moved forward to Fitzroy uh, and then to Bluff Cove. I uh, went back to Fitzroy with the, the bombing of the Garhad. I mean, I didn't know what had happened. The jets flew over us and went round and, and, and bombed there. But um, all I could see was black smoke coming up, so I knew something was wrong, so I, I'd head off back there. Uh, stayed there a night and then forward onto Goat Ridge up onto Tumble Down and then down into Stanley the first afternoon. I, I came in through, down through Moody, off Tumble Down and uh, along Moody Brook and uh, you know there was Argentinian kit scattered around everywhere so I, 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 I managed to get a lift on one of the, the uh, BV's vehicles and uh, I was just photographing the sort of devastation in there. Um, I was surprised that it had gone that it was so close to town, to be honest. Um, I hadn't realised that, that they were firing those field guns from uh, on the, the fields there. The first afternoon when I got there, it, it, it wasn't a scene of the total mess in the town at all, but there was a riot that evening, and so the next morning when I went back into the town, uh, when the ceasefire had been signed and everything, it was a mess then, uh, and kit dumped everywhere, and you know, the stores had been raided, and things like that. So that was all pretty awful. But we also have uh, new content which profiles the experience of the Falkland Islanders themselves, because we're very keen that the military story um, is juxtaposed with the people who are at the centre of uh, what happened and so you know the Falkland Islanders are a very important part of uh, what the tale we're trying to tell.